Hey there, Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. The video you're about to watch is on S&P client Ellie. Now, before Ellie joined S&P, she was really kind of what we call a gym newbie. So she was pretty inexperienced in training in gyms and she hadn't really got any prior knowledge about nutrition and training. Um, she used to always used to be quite, quite healthy as a kid, but she also used to kind of struggle with binge eating, junk food, sweets, crisps, chocolate, and all the rest of it. So in her own words, check her video out right now, see what you think. Please, can you tell me your name, age and occupation? Uh, yeah, um, I'm Ellie, I'm 22 and I'm a student at the University of Leeds. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your background training wise before you came to S&P. Um, so before I, went to S before I came to S&P, I hadn't actually joined a gym before. Mm -hmm. um, I had a background in karate, so I'm a black belt and I used to compete and I also did horse riding. Mm -hmm. So my week was like taken up by that quite a lot. Um, but then when I finished, well, I decided to stop training in karate so I found I had quite a lot of time and um, I wanted to keep my fitness up and keep active and one of my friends recommended to come here right and then I've been here now for four years on and off because of university and traveling but mm -hmm. keep coming back cool um so what was what actually encouraged you to join I know you said you had a friend here but what yeah. was it about S&P um well I came down and I had a look around and the, straight away the coach was just so welcoming um I just knew that I wanted something a bit different. I didn't want to just go to like a commercial gym. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, you know, learn things and be educated about, you know, getting stronger and things like that. So, mm -hmm. and this definitely appealed to me. Cool. So obviously you were very active. Like you said, you'd never had joined a gym before. Yeah. But do you feel there was just something missing? Although you obviously, clearly, if you're a black belt in karate, <laughs> you're very active, um, horse riding and things yeah. like that. But you just, did you feel like you just needed an extra something? Yeah, yeah. so when I, when I stopped training, I was, I, I, you know, I knew that I needed to do something. Mm -hmm. um, and this just seemed like the perfect fit, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Cool, so what were your fears before S&P? I guess when you always go somewhere near where you join something, there's always that fear that um, it's a new environment, mm -hmm. you might not fit in and mm -hmm. things like that, but you know, as soon as I came here, I was just lifted straight away. And even the times that you've been away for, for yeah. and, and you've come back each that, time, what's that been that, like? That's, that's probably been like, the hardest thing for me because you know, I'd, I'd trained for maybe like six to eight weeks solidly and really feel like I'm making progress and you know, meeting new people and things like that and then I'm away at uni or I was away travelling and then coming back again over Christmas or Easter, back over summer always felt that first session was a little bit unsure mm -hmm. but then as soon as I got straight back into it there's always there'd be new people to meet and you know new targets new goals mm -hmm. so those fears that I did have would straight away just be gone in the first first week okay and although you were really active before you came here but doing some different activity mm -hmm. uh, what did you think you might have struggled with or did you know you needed assistance with from S&P? Well I honestly didn't really have much knowledge mm -hmm. about anything to do with exercise. I mean I'd train three times a week in karate but I'd always just be told exactly what to do. Right. This this amount of reps and things like that so I, and I never really, because I was quite young, mm -hmm. I never really did much strength and conditioning training. Mm -hmm. um, so coming to s and I didn't really have much knowledge. Um, I honestly if I'd have stepped foot in, in any gym, mm -hmm. I just wouldn't have had a clue what to do. And what about nutrition? Did you know oh, about that or no. no idea? No, so I was, I mean, because I, I was quite young, I'd just eat whatever mum and dad gave me. And I, they've always been quite healthy, but after school, like, we'd go with my friends and we'd go to, like, co-op or something and just spend stupid amounts of money on, like, fizzy drinks and chocolate and loads of stuff like that. And even though I do still have that, I now have much, like, you know, a much better... You know, knowledge about mm -hmm. it all and I know that it's a treat and mm -hmm. yeah so cool learned a lot <laughs> and tell me about um, the results you've experienced from joining S&P what have you noticed um, I just I'm so much stronger and more confident in myself mm -hmm. um, you know building muscle and having goals and achieving those goals um, you know it does work like does so much for your confidence mm -hmm. um, especially like this summer I've this was the first time I really kind of set myself target. So I really wanted to get um, a 70 kg squat mm -hmm. and um, a 40 kg bench, mm -hmm. which I got both of those. I actually got an 80 kg squat. And I got on the board, so that was great. Oh, well done. <laughs> um, and like body weight chin ups. I've wanted to do this for so long. And yeah. I just, you know, I'd put the, I'd put the effort in, but until this, this summer that's just gone, I don't think I really ever fully gave it everything that I had. Right. But so this summer I was like, do you know what, I'm just gonna, 
absolutely try and smash it and now I can do like four body weight training so everything that I've wanted to achieve this summer I've definitely done so Fair. now when I go back to uni I just need to try and keep up <laughs> right okay yeah. <laughs> but, yeah so tell me what S&P means to you um it's gonna sound really cheesy but it's honestly like like an extended family so you come in a few sessions and I try and mix it up a little bit so it's not always just with the same people so because I've had this summer off I can be flexible like mm -hmm. that but I've just met so many like like-minded people. So even though, you know, some of my friends do go to the gym, mm -hmm. but they don't kind of do it like we do it. Right. So sometimes they kind of, I like, don't really understand. They're like, oh, why would you spend that much money to do whatever you're doing? And I, and I just reply like, you know, it is just like a family, like the atmosphere, the mm -hmm. coaches, there's just nothing else like it. And it actually makes you want to come to the gym. Mm -hmm. So I used to, well, well, when I go back to uni, I kind of struggle a little bit with that motivation when you're on your own, getting up and getting to the gym. But here, like, your motivation's, like, already there, if yeah. you get what I mean. So yeah. you get up and you actually want to get there because you know that, you know, either your friends are there or the coaches that you get along really well with. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's just all kind of sorted. <laughs> cool. And um, so how have we actually helped you, do you think? Um, confidence mm -hmm. is the main thing, mm -hmm. I would say. You don't like I don't obviously I didn't really have much knowledge about um, weight training or anything like that. Right. But now I just feel, you know, I love being able to lift and I love being able to go up to the bar and know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So for example, when I go back to um, university, I feel like I can just walk into the gym mm -hmm. and I know what I'm doing and I don't have to feel nervous about that because I know a lot of people will say to me, oh, I really want to join the gym, but I'm so nervous I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I like for me I love that I can just walk in and know what I'm doing. Often at the university, often at the university gym, the um, the weight section is just all guys. Mm -hmm. And now, so before S and P, I would have just avoided that. Definitely, I'd probably just stick to the treadmill or stick to the cross trainer or something. But now, I'll just walk in with confidence. Uh -huh. I know what I'm doing, and I know that I've probably got as good a form as any of they do, as any of those lot do. So, yes, yeah. yeah, if not better, I'd say. I hope so. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. And um, why do you think S and P is different to anything else? Um, I think the coach is probably one of the main things, and the atmosphere. So the coach, like, it's almost as if they can like, they can read your mind. So you come in, and if you've had a bit of a bad day at work or a bad day, whatever you've been doing, it's almost as if they know, mm -hmm. and they can just give you that pick you pick me up. Or um, if you need a bit of a kick in the bum, they know when to do that. They mm -hmm. know how to encourage you. Um, that, and then the atmosphere and the people that are here, it's just like, amazing. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else because, you know, even if you're not feeling it, you'll come to the gym and then you'll leave and you'll be in a completely different mood. You'll mm -hmm. just be on a high and it's, yeah, it's, it's great. Thank you. And then what would you say to someone who's thinking of joining S&P? Um, I would say absolutely. It'll probably be one of the best decisions you've ever made. Um, I know that for some people money is the issue. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I'd say to that is that, you know, you spend money on clothes and your hair and makeup, like well, a lot of women do, but actually like, if you, if you were then to spend that money on the gym instead, I think that's so much more beneficial mm -hmm. because, you know, you can spend money on making yourself feel better, but actually if you're not really doing what will, well, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, I, what I'm trying to say is like, you know, you spend money on all these different kinds of things, but actually if you peel it back to the core and like your confidence mm -hmm. stems from how you feel about yourself mm -hmm. and you know, you can buy the best clothes and the best makeup, but actually that's just kind of covering it up. Mm -hmm. So if you spend the money on actually, you know, doing something that's going to really benefit yourself, then like, why wouldn't you? Like, it's just so beneficial for your confidence and yeah. your mindset and how you feel and how you look. Awesome. So it tackles everything from the inside. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. Cool. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you very much. That's okay. Wow, what a great story. So if you watch that video right now and anything you've watched on there has really struck a chord with you, what I urge you to do right now is go on this page somewhere, you'll find a link to an application form. So if you go on that, click that, fill out all the details, and then one of our expert team will, will be back in touch with you ASAP to discuss how we can help you move forward and fast, okay? So click on the link, fill in the application form, and we'll be in touch ASAP. This is Z from S&P Gym Stockport saying bye-bye, and we'll see you soon.